G'day, g'day, and welcome back to sunny Santa Monica. Yes, the sun is always shining. As you can see, the moon is always shining, I should say. Convert the day. Anyway, what were we doing? What were we doing? We've got some quests here. Two of which I can continue. We have Explosive Beginning and Thinned Blood. I have leads with both of these. I might continue Thinned Blood for now, but I do need to go visit Therese Vorman, who's the owner of the asylum. Um, so yeah, we will be doing that. But first, let's talk about Thinned Blood. He is interested in knowing what Thin Bloods are. He knows only what his sire Lily told him before he parted ways with her. You might want to check out the Surfside Diner in town and see if she's there. So, we need to go find the Surfside Diner, which means we've got to go exploring. Well, those guys have the right idea. Standing under cover in the rain. You, sir, do not. Well, it's kind of covered. Me. I'm just mad. Okay, so get those prosthetics down there. Because it's on Second Street. It wasn't down at the beach. Or up here. Boxes. Here's the asylum. Ah, I'm guessing that's the diner. The smoke shop. Where's this guy? Back alleys, huh? Be a quicker way to get round. Well, there we go. Look at that. Is there someone through here? Blood bank downstairs. Okay. The megahertz computing. They're closed. I guess those shops are closed this time of night. So we're in France. Okay. Let's jump this way. I have seen the face of the demon! And it is excited! Ah, we have a map. You are here. So we've got Bail Bonds, Sunco, Gasoline, Brother Selvage, Smoke Shop, Surfside Diner, The Asylum. We are living in the last days of the last age of mankind! Repent your wickedness and atone in these your last hours. I'm gonna have to do something about that guy. Parking garage, Santa Monica Pier, Devil's Brand Tattoo, Medical Clinic, Seymour's Coffee, Gallery Noir, Trips Pawn Shop, Apartments, uh, Santa Monica Suites, Gimbal's Prosthetics, and Foxy Boxes. So I've seen just about everything. Have to sit down I here. have seen the squirming on the horizon. The worms are stripping the foulness from the skull of the earth. Do you mind? Skies are all rotten, and the storm is our death sentence. Uh, I have 
I've seen the squirming on the horizon. The worms are stripping the foulness from the skull of the earth. I wonder if he ever goes down a, an alleyway. Anyway, we've got Brother Salvage here. Every second takes us closer passing. to the will be shot. Of Survivors will be shot again. Time of judgment gets closer every second. Shut up. Sunco gasoline. And A and B kill Patrick's bow bonds. Which is also open. Okay. Let's go to the diner. Every second takes us closer to the time of Mr. Milton, you know who this is, and I do hope you realize that we're still on for tonight. Meet me at the agreed-upon location across from the bar by the underpass. Bring your associate, Mr. Durbin, as it is a two-man job that I am proposing. With any luck, the two of you are already on your way, and I shall see you soon. Goodbye. I believe somebody's up to no good. Something I can help you with. Oh, he's a vampire. Hmm. Does the lady by the sea appeal to you? I Mr. guess. The free arsenic. Hmm. A strange weight lies on your shoulders. I don't see how that's any business of yours. Dark and heavy your burden. I'll leave it to you. Goodbye then. Okay, so I guess this is Lily. Um. No? <sighs> yeah. Okay. <clears throat> What'll it be, honey? <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I see a pale girl in my mind. <clears throat> Have you seen the pale girl too? <clears throat> Is that a trick question? <clears throat> Thin blood. Do you know these words? Thin blood. Sounds familiar. Is that one of those tropical diseases? Not really. Uh, from where do the words thin blood enter your brain? <clears throat> I know I've heard that before. The pale, pretty flower girl muttered them, perhaps. Oh, that girl. Nice girl. First decent human being I've seen in here for years. Not like all the junkies and crazies I normally see. Yeah, I remember her. Yeah, weird. She left the tip, but she didn't order a thing. Yeah, she looked so hungry, too. Just sat there all night with a full glass of water in front of her, talking about this and that. She seemed lonely, a little scared, so I let her stay in the booth until we closed. She left some stuff here. You seem to know her. Why don't you give it back to her if you run into her? But the flower girl is so close. Ah, she cannot come. So I'll deliver them. Okay, retrieved Lily's belongings. So, what have we got? Bail bond. Kilpatrick bail bonds. Get one... Sorry, one get out of jail free card. This is a receipt for a bail bond. The bail bond was for one Rolf Toten. Whoever that is. Girl's photo. Photo of a pretty young woman. The message on the back of the photo reads August 03. Santa Monica, Lily. So it does. Okay, so at least we know what she looks like now. Now a pretty little fell owl girl. And a purse. Lily's purse that she left behind at the diner. She might want this back. Indeed, she might. It's odd that she hasn't come to pick it up. I wonder if something has happened to her. Hmm. You're not Rolf, are you? Well, I guess the bail bond is my only lead out of all that stuff. Since, um, Kapetrix is just around the corner. Game 
gaze upon me and see reflected the contempt of your savior. To mock me is to scorn the Lord's love. Hello, everybody. I don't care. I need to find him so he can find him. It's 250 grand of my money on the line here. Look, look, I'll talk to you later, okay? Let me know if you hear anything about either. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Hello there. How you been? Greetings. Welcome to Kilpatrick 24 Hour Bail Bonds. My name's Arthur Kilpatrick. How can I help you? Uh, you the keymaster? Huh? Oh, I, I see what you're yapping about. Yeah, I guess you could call it that. Keymaster, huh? Might be worth trying. Arthur Kilpatrick, the Santa Monica Keymaster. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. It sounds kind of like a bad horror movie. <laughs> Do you alone hold the keys? I gotta have a few other bondsmen to keep the place open 24 hours, plus a bounty hunter. I pull the graveyard shift because that's when all the crazy shit happens in Santa Monica. <laughs> hmm, hunting bounties sounds exciting. You betcha. I used to do some bounty hunting back in the day. Takes a good solid set of brass balls. Uh, pardon the expression, Missy, but it takes balls to be a good bounty hunter. Hmm. Does your hunter have good balls of brass? Yep, damn good. His name's Carson, and he's great at what he does when he wants to do it. I can't seem to find him now, though. He's pissing me off, to be honest. I need him to go find someone. Hmm. Maybe you need to find a different set of brass balls. Well, I don't feel right cutting Carson loose just yet. We go way back. I knew his father, too. Tell you what, since I'm stuck here, why don't you go look for him? Just real quick. I'll pay you for your time. Okay, I'll dig up this hunter of bounties. Great, great. I suppose the first place you should look is his apartment in Santa Monica Suites. Apartment 1, I think it is. Maybe you'll find something there to let you know where he's got himself to. Here's a key card. That'll let you in. Hmm. I have more questions bursting from my brain. Sure, honey. What is it? Hmm. Have you heard of the Shadow Cloaked Killer? Yeah, they're saying there was a murder down by the pier just like the one the other day down in Long Beach. Just vicious. Tore them up. They're saying it's a serial killer. Hmm. What shall the donut eaters do? Well, typically when things like this happen, the cops ratchet up the patrols and start hauling in more suspicious types. Could be good for me. <laughs> okay, you're speaking to my shadow. Farewell. Okay, Kilpatrick's Crime Pewter. Search a national database for missing and wanted persons. Find information on your neighbours and co-workers. Maybe I should try that. Maybe... Well, I probably shouldn't use his computer, but he's right there. Looks like I should be able to use this. Begin your search. So, do you just look for the name? What's the name? Rolf Toten. So that'll be S to Z. Schmidt. Silver's Toten. Toten. Ah, that might be it. Rolf Toten. Bond written 22nd of the 8th, 2003. Immigration case 663321. Bond amount 15,000 smackaroos. Type of bond collateral car. Red Lightning Bird 77. CA plate. Guy Coney. Notes. Go back to Germania, pal. We don't take the Euro in these parts. Okay. So what did that tell me? They took lateral. Okay, looks like two of my quests have updated. Bounty for the Hunters. Thin Blood. A reference uh, to Rolf Turton in Arthur's Crime Pewter. His car is a red Lightning Bird 77 license reads Guy Coney. Perhaps you should find this car.
Okay. I've also got a lead bounty for the hunter. The bondsman wants you to locate his bounty hunter Carson and ask him to return to work. Carson lives at Santa Monica Suites, apartment one. That's the same place where uh, Mercurio lives. Okay, let's go find this red car if we can. It's probably in that parking garage. There aren't too many cars on the street. So I'm guessing that's my best bet. Process of elimination. We are living in the last days of the last age of mankind! Repent there cars down there. So, red lightning bird. Go Kearney. There's a red. No plate though. Nope. Not the red combi. Daikoni! Tire iron. Lulu's diary? What's that doing in his car? Lulu's diary. This seems to be Lulu's diary. Indeed it is. Okay, I don't really want to read Lily's diary. It's a bit private. Guess I have to, though. Okay, first entry is the 30th of April. 30th of the 4th, 2003. Met a guy today at the asylum. He's so beautiful. Oh my god. His name is Rolf, and he's from Germany. European men are just so classy compared to boring California boys. He asked me to see... He asked to see me tomorrow night. Sorry, I can't talk. Uh, I wonder if he's rich. <laughs> he looks rich. I'm going to go shopping tomorrow and pick up something that won't make me look <clears throat> like a big fat pig. Can't wait to see him. Sorry, I'm still getting over my sickness. So, uh, yeah, I'm a bit, still a bit mucky, I'm afraid. <clears throat> Let's see if I can get through this. 21st of the 5th, 2003. I think it's getting serious with Rolf. He told me he wanted me to give me something very special next week. And if it's what I think it is, it's about damn time. I thought Europeans were supposed to be less uptight about this sort of thing. Okay, 6th of the 6th. I woke up at 9pm today. That would be strange in itself, except I don't remember going to sleep last night. In fact, I don't remember anything since last Saturday night when Rolf was over. Tenth of the 6th. I woke up late again. I haven't eaten anything in four days. I don't know what's wrong with me. 11th of the 6th. Rolf came over last night. He said that the reason I hadn't eaten anything was because I needed blood. He said it was all I could eat now, that I wouldn't be fuel hungry anymore if I drank some. He had a bag of it from the local blood bank. I tried to refuse, but I couldn't. What's happening to me? 26th of the 7th. Rolf said he's going to have to leave soon. He said people are trying to force him out of the country. He didn't say anything about taking me with him. 22nd of the 8th. I had to bail Rolf out of jail today. He was arrested because his visa expired. He looked frightened. I'm afraid he's going to leave. 7th of the 12th. Wow, okay. I haven't seen or heard from Rolf since the night I bailed him out. I don't know what to do. I thought he cared about me. 
Why did he do this to me? 15th of the 4th, 2004. That's this year. I talked with this guy I met at the surfside until 5 this morning. When I told him I had to go, I felt like Cinderella. He seemed like a prince. 16th of the 4th. I met that guy from the surfside again. He has no idea what I am. 24th of the 4th. I brought E, the guy from the surfside, back to my apartment last night. He said he's going back to Australia in a few days, now that the tournament's coming to an end. I don't want him to leave. I've never felt this way about anyone before. Not even Rolf. 25th of the 4th. He kissed me last night, and I couldn't stop myself from biting into his neck. But I drank too much, and I gave him my blood to save him. When I explained it all to him, he said he never wanted to see me again. What have I done? 8th of the 5th. I haven't been able to feed since that night with E. I'm afraid of what will happen. I remember Rolf bought blood from the blood bank. Maybe if I can sneak in, I can grab a few bags and get out before anyone catches me. And that's the last entry. So she was going to the blood bank to get some blood, or steal blood. I'm guessing something happened to her. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, looks like we're off to the blood bank. That was near the asylum, wasn't it? The clinic, I should say. Behind the asylum. Yeah. Downstairs. Ah, yeah, that's the clinic in there. I know that door. What if I can open it from this side? I can indeed. Uh, blood bank's downstairs. I guess we better go there. I have a little look up upstairs too, at some point. Something under the stairs. Always pays to look. Plea of the month. Vandal. Hello. You next up for the needle? Hmm? Your donation could save a life, you know. Oh, but isn't it a little late for altruism? I don't think you're here to give blood at all. I don't buy it, Betty. I bet you're here to take blood. Am I right? The name's Kaya. I'm not Betty. Does the Pope wear a funny hat? Right down to business. None of this pretend I don't drink blood shit. Very refreshing to find a decisive customer. I respect that. So, what'll it be? Well, it looks like this guy's in the know. He's not a vampire. Um. I need to enter this bloody fortress. Employees only. Them's the rules of the Queen Bitch herself. She's the queen bitch. The Dark Daughter has given me her blessing. She did, huh? Queen Bitch told me never to let anyone back there. I remember her repeating it over and over in that cold, pretentious voice of hers. Hmm. Well, contact Her Majesty and face the truth. Hmm. Opened. My inner child thanks you for opening the candy store. Cool. Okay. We have lots of doors. It's behind door number one. Not a great deal.
Oh, I see. Maybe now I can pick things up. Pick them up, throw them around. Physics for the win. What's this? Someone like a blood bank password. Eh. Uh, Okay. Door number two. Let's throw some boxes around. Anything in here? No flower girls. Okay. Okay. Mr. Buzzman, the operator. Dr. Buzzman, the operator. Okay, get in there. Got laundry. Ooh, what's this? Secret. Secret entrance. Okay, doesn't look like I can use that. Dog. Hmm, I she's in one of these. First thing that I could open it, but. I can imagine. There we go. Come on. Nope. No one in there. No one in there. This door's a bit dodgy. Splashed myself in the face with it. Flower girls in there. Hmm. Yay. Ah. What's in there? Oh, that's sad. If you're reading this, you are not dead. Well, that's good. Cadavers. Ah. I'll try and hack it. Cowbell? Hmm, Jane Doe. Subject apparently died of indeterminate causes. So this body contained only one pint of blood. Foul play suspected. Like a 2B. I wonder if that's her. 2B. And actually, um, Labeled, are they? I couldn't find anyone in, in any of them. So, is there another storage area or is that it? Ooh, how come there's office key? Oh, okay. I don't know where I am. Okay, well, I don't think there's anything up there. Okay. 
Okay, let's just continue through here then. She's not in the dryer. So we get blood bank. Freezes. Of course it's locked with the password. Ambrosia. Uh, temperature and passcode. Passcode. Ooh. Is that the key for the key the uh, number for the key pad? 1969, huh? What about temperature? Freezer 1 is minus 10, Freezer 2 is minus 12, Freezer 3 is minus 2. So Freezer 3 apparently gets opened quite a bit. Because it can't maintain its temperature. Alright, let's go open this freezer. This is code works. Password succeeded. What'd that do for us? Cool. Secret passageway. Hello. Hunger. I need it. A drop of it on my tongue, sliding down my throat. The hot flash in my brain lighting up my body. I can smell it everywhere. Blood. Ah, a lost little sickling flower. Let me go. It's painful. Like I'm going to die. It's calling. Never felt like this before. Let me go. I can smell it. I have to have it. I'll free you from this fox's den, little flower. Huh? What? Oh. Huh? You don't look well at all. Oh, sweet mother of God! Um, nothing to see here. The heat. Mm, it's never been so satisfying. All of it. I drank until I heard his heart stop and I was sucking on a dry, dead artery. It was euphoric. But I've... I've killed him. I've never killed anyone before. What happened? What came over me? Hmm. You wore the mask of the beast. Beast? What is that? Why couldn't I stop myself? Why did it feel so right? You are not the darkness you wear. I tried to steal some blood. I heard they sold it. I was hungry, and I can't hunt in town. They caught me, and I was strapped, trapped. Thought I'd never escape, but I killed a man. I have to get out of here. Uh, are you the beautiful sickling flower? Flower? My name's Lily, if that's what you mean. You are the flower to the one that comes before F and G. E? You know E? I... How do you know E? I was following the thin blood, and it led me to you. I tried to tell E about his condition, but he was so furious at me for what I'd made him into, he wouldn't listen. A thin blood, from what I've been told, is a vampire whose blood is weaker than most. Okay, continue. Rolf, my sire, told me some vampires consider thin bloods a bad omen and want them destroyed. Rolf wasn't a thin blood, and apparently I am. I don't know why. Rolf abandoned me. His group wouldn't take me in. They said I was a liability. He left me with so many questions. And I did the same thing to E. But I didn't want to leave E. He forced me out of his life. 
I... I should go. I have to get out of here. Maybe out of the city. Soon. Hmm. Seek out your thin-blooded lover. E doesn't hate me anymore? He misses your dark bloomings. I'll go see him. Thank you. The path is treacherous. As is love. Oh, about tonight, what I did? Please, don't tell E. It's not my fault. I couldn't control it. I've never done anything like this before. I'm no killer. This secret dies here between us. Farewell. Why'd you have to go and let that bitch out? There's one less fill in the world now. Why'd you have to let her go and eat him, huh? No, I'll never get to do in that bastard myself. Well, you know what? No blood for you. No more. Oh? <laughs> <laughs> what were we laughing about? The price of red nectar you're about to sell me. Oh wow, look at the price. 99. Can't afford that. Blue blood. Whoa! 198. For one bag. Daylight robbery. Or should I say, nighttime robbery. That's just rude. Oh, there's another door through here. Okay, well I've freed Lily. Okay, gotta to talk to E. Lily's here. You brought my Lily back. She told me all about what happened. I don't know why you helped this, but your blood's worth bottling. I'll never let her go again. Thank you. Keep your flower pinned next to your heart. We're going to be getting out of LA soon. Too dangerous here. Rosa told us something big's about to happen, and I don't want to be here when the Jack comes out of the box. Take that for what you will. Hmm. He has already exited his box, but has not yet started, sorry, has not yet scared his children. I'm gone. Okay. Okay, let's run and never look back. Hi. So, how is your thin-blooded reunion? This life's been hard on him, both of us, but he forgives me. We're leaving soon. I have some family with a place out in the middle of nowhere in Oregon. It should be okay for us to stay out there, as long as we're together. Ah, uh, take what is yours from me, please. Thank you. Let love live in the undead. Farewell. I'll never forget this night.
I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. Hmm. Then I won't look. Then I won't look at you either. Farewell. I think I've gotten as much as I can out of these guys. So. That's that quest finished. Let's um, let's quickly follow up on this bounty for the hunter. Bondsman and his bounty hunter, Santa Monica Sweets. And after that I'll have to get to the asylum. Load screen always takes me by surprise. Okay, sweets. Main Street. Level one. Blast off! Ooh, there's a lot of goodies in here. Hello! Anybody home? Check, check. Is this thing recording? God, I hate these things. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, the uh, McGee case is getting weirder all the time. I found where he's been hiding and I saw some really creepy stuff down there. There was uh, no sign of McGee. I'm going to follow up on another lead I got, too. I updated the files on the computer. Uh, this is Carson signing off. Man, that sounds stupid. So you shoot things. Oh, it's another skill book. Well, I can't actually raise my firearm skill. So I wonder if I can sell it. Amalia. Okay. Grumble, grumble. It's a secret to everybody. McGee. Because it's a password. <laughs> Himalia. I guess the clue was right there on the wall. The writing was on the wall, literally. Currently at large. Location key. Mickey's hiding in the tattoo parlor in Santa Monica. Okay. Don't forget the key to the tattoo parlor. It's on the top of the TV. Okay. Late. Don't think I'll be able to do that. Oh, curious to where. Well, I know where the tattoo parlor is. It's down here. What a dump! Okay. Wednesday, 9pm. 
Gimbal's prosthetics. And phone number. Do I call or what? There's no one here. Hmm. So dial the number. Uh, do I speak with the guy who cuts people up? Hello, might I speak with Mr. McGee? No, only with his phone. Can you solve the mystery of missing McGee? Well, I'm not sure. I had an appointment with him a few days ago, but he never seemed to show up. <laughs> do you know when he'll return? Report about this rendezvous. Well, Mr. McGee was going to be doing some modelling for me. Medical reference for the work that I do here in the studio. It's a shame, really. The proposition would have been quite lucrative for him. Hmm. Perhaps I could pose for this peep show. Why, yes, that sounds delightful. Perhaps you could come down to my studio and we can sort out the details. Where is your lair of lenses? I'm at the end of Main Street, small basement studio. The sign says Gimbal's Prosthetics. Just ring the buzzer and I'll let you in. I look forward to buzzing your basement. Very good. And uh, might I say that you have the most colourful way of saying things. Very interesting dissection of the language. Well, anyway, speak with you soon. I colour the world with the hues of my madness. Farewell. Oh, that was interesting. Oh, might be a good way to get me some money. Sort of don't know where McGee is, though. Or Carson, for that matter. Okay, we've got one lead, haven't we? Prosthetics. Yes, may I help you? Ah, the Limb Lord. Oh, right, right, I'll buzz you in. No two buzzers are the same. What's this guy doing? Hello. Just sheltering from the rain, are you? Yeah. Well, I'm thirsty. Nice to meet you. Sorry. Yeah, that's right. You apologise. Hello! Welcome to Gimbal's Prosthetics and Medical Supplies. You're here for the modelling job? Good, good. You seem to have rather well-developed limbs, if you don't mind me saying so. Tell me your name, Limlord. Oh, yes, forgive me. My name is Gimble. Stanley Gimble. But, oh, dear, let us dispense with formalities. You can call me Stan. I for the limbs and you the lenses. Aha! An eager participant. Very good. Just give me a few moments to get my equipment ready, and then come on in and we'll get started. Yes. Okay. Bitch Frenzy, in the news. Dog gang rampages the City of Angels. She sniffed you where? Special report. 
by Lindsay Ray. Do puppies really need to poop? <laughs> got Motor Whore magazine. Bailey blows Smith away. <laughs> World War Three, the magazine. The best damn war I've ever been in. Private Matthew... I can't even read that. Lieutenant Robert Barnes. When he speaks, people die. Exclusive. It's raining hellfire for Christmas. The cold fusion bomb. Is it fair? And Hooker Magazine. Ten easy steps to increase your hourly earnings. The benefits of working quid pro quo. And Carl Rev's Guide. How to be a better pimp. All very exciting. Well, this lounge is comfy. Can't be at a comfy couch. Hmm. How long is it going to be? Tired of waiting. Hmm, creepy at all. Hello, Mr. Gimbal. Mannequin arms and other parts. Twenty-six fifty. Whole mannequins on sale. One hundred twenty-five. Prosthetic limbs. Various per customer. Crash test dummies, 450 bucks. Amputees must wait up front. Well, I'm not an amputee. Kimball, Kimball. Limbs, prosthetics, and mobility aids. Man, it's a look at cells. Well, this place goes on and on. Oh, wow. Okay. Got a bad feeling about this. You gotta get me out of here, man. This guy's a freaking nut job. Who? Gimbal? Who, Gimbal? Yeah, Gimbal. That guy's been taking pieces off of me and McGee over here for the last three days. He's crazy, man. Freaking crazy. So, how do I open this curious cage? What are you doing here? Oh. Hey! Ah! Fuck you. Ah! I just... <laughs> Take that! Psychic! Not psychic! Psychotic! Come on, let me suck you! Come on! That bitch slapped me! Ah! 
Thanks, man. You're a lifesaver. I wasn't sure I was going to make it. I'm telling you, I've been on some weird cases, but this one takes the cake. Is Johnny. Ha, ha, ha. That's funny. Cut it with the Carson jokes, will ya? In case you didn't notice, this ain't exactly the Tonight Show down here. Kilpatrick, the Keymaster, sent me. He did? Oh, man, that's solid. I owe that guy big. I hope I can figure out a way to get him back for this. Here's more bounties for you to hunt. What? Oh, no, man. No, no, no. Not for me anymore. Look at my hand. Gimbal took my trigger finger for a trophy. I'm all through with this business. I hate to leave Arthur in a lurch, but that's just the way it is. Hmm. I shall tell him this troubling truth. Farewell. Thanks again. Don't worry, I'll take care of old Stumpy here. Stumpy? Have fun. Sever arm. Ah. Stumpy. I get it. I must be McGee. Okay, so where's the severed limb? Oh, can you use it as a weapon? <laughs> now I can bitch slap people. Interesting. My work here is done. So I just need to go back to uh, Arthur Kilpatrick and tell him the sad news. What's shaking? I found the hunter, but he will not come back to hunt bounties. What? Ain't coming back? What do you mean he ain't coming back? His itchy finger is a crazy trophy. Man, that's a tough one. Bounty hunter ain't no good without his trigger finger. Well, hell, that really leaves me in hot water, boy. Gonna cost old Arthur real good. He was heating your hot tub. I got this guy with a sheet a mile long, put in on three warrants. His girlfriend put up for the bond, and now he missed the court date. I can't get in touch with either of them. Want a job? Sing me a song, returned one. Well, it won't be much of a job since you ain't licensed and all, but until I can get me another bounty hunter, I need you to find out if this guy skipped town or what. I'll hunt this bounty for you. Great, great, all right. The guy's name is Mike Durbin. Goes by the name Muddy. His girlfriend put up for his bond. She lives over there above Tripp's pawn shop. Her name is Marion Murrieta, but I haven't been able to get in touch with her. Okay, I'll visit the maid Marion. That's right. Marianne Murrieta, in them crappy places above the pawn shop. Find out where the hell Muddy is, where is he going, whatever. But be careful. You're not licensed, and if anything bad goes down, I don't know you. You hear me? 
Okay. You owe me gold for finding the Brass Bold Hunter. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, here you are. Many thanks, my Jello junkie. All right, come back when you got some info. Thanks in advance. Okay, I shall wander until the words wiggle in my wigwam. Farewell. I really do have trouble reading those, the font that these uh, things are in, the options. Anyway, my time is up, so I'm going to leave it there. Of course it's raining. So, join me next time. And yes, um, I think it's time for me to... Well, I'll have to go back to the uh, apartment. Uh, check out this other job. But I also need to go to the asylum. So I'll probably go to the asylum first. So, hope you join me then.